The e-tron just became the Q8 e-tron, with some major upgrades that will put it back in the game. The 2019 e-tron midsize electric crossover served as Audi's debut electric vehicle and was dubbed the new Wave e-tron since it was the company's representation of electric mobility. Since then, Audi's e-tron brand has expanded to include the Q4 e-tron compact SUV and the GT sedan, making it more than simply a single model. Therefore, the significantly improved 2024 e-tron Sportback has finally gone public and received a legitimate name, Q8 e-tron, signifying its appropriate place in Audi's e-tron series following the revelation of a few teasers over the previous few months. The e-tron was a sophisticated and opulent electric crossover that drove with a self-assured sure-footedness and hit its weight well. There was nothing wrong with it. However, the new Q8 e-tron finally brings back that style with more juice and updates, making it a fierce competitor. But are these changes enough to keep the Q8 e-tron relevant in a rapidly growing luxury EV segment? Although it may not appear so initially, the Audi e-tron's exterior needed to be modified in several ways to become the Q8 e-tron. Audi's new 3D single-frame mask grille which conceals motorised grille shutters to reduce drag is the most visible feature. The flattened new Audi grille logo has subtle LED illumination along its top, and the lighting elements have been redesigned with new animations and a light bar. The drag coefficient has been significantly reduced to 0.27 thanks to several aerodynamic enhancements. Additionally, the 2024 Q8 e-tron introduces new model badging on the B-pillar, which will eventually extend to other Audi vehicles. Although the alterations to the rear are not very noticeable, those with keen eyes will note that the lower bumper now bears the word e-tron, in addition to a new rear diffuser blade. The Q8 Sportback e-tron comes standard with 20-inch wheels, while the Premium Plus trim offers 21-inch wheels. Customers who purchase the launch edition can also get the 22-inch wheels. If range is your concern, the Q8 Sportback e-tron's premium model comes with an ultra package that makes it easy to swap out the wheels for 19-inch tyres with minimal rolling resistance. Audi has not confirmed the paint colours for the Audi Q8 e-tron. We will have to wait and see if the manufacturer will continue offering the colours we can currently obtain on the e-tron or if some of the gas-powered Q8 hues will be added to the Q8 e-tron's options list. There was no need to alter the Audi e-tron's cabin, so it hasn't. It is still composed of premium materials and is presented and decorated with elegance just as it always has. The standard seating surfaces are made of leather while trim options include wood, aluminium and sustainable materials. The Audi Q8 e-tron's Dynamica Faux Alcantara seats, which come with the S-Line package, are among the interior components constructed entirely of recycled PET bottles. Recycled materials are also heavily utilised in the carpets and sound deadening. This aids in the Q8 e-tron's certification as net carbon neutral in both the US and Europe. Although the array of high-resolution panels appears futuristic, it lacks the rotary controller used in BMW's iDrive. This implies that you'll be looking at all those screens a lot while driving, which is never a good replacement for hard buttons that you can find and press with your eyes still on the road. However, you can at least utilise voice commands. There are two centre console displays, an 8.6-inch HVAC touchscreen below and a 10.1-inch infotainment screen above. The standard gauge cluster is the HD Audi Virtual Cockpit Digital Gauge Cluster. The inside is spacious and even more useful because of the level floor. With about 40 inches of legroom, the second row is roomy, although not as much as an iX or Lyric for three individuals when it comes to shoulder room. The 2024 Audi Q8 e-tron's cargo space is still 28.5 cubic feet when the back seats are folded down. Though far short of the 35.5 cube cabin of the iX, this value is comparable to the Lyric. The 56.4 cubes of total cargo space when the seats are down is quite large, but it needs to catch up to what the competitors provide. However, there is an extra 2.2 cubic feet of storage space available in the nose frunk. 
The Q855 e-tron, which will be the standard US powertrain, has the same specs as the Audi Q8 e-tron electric motors, with a maximum output of 355 horsepower and 414 pound-foot of torque. In boost mode, this is temporarily raised to 402 horsepower and 490 pound-foot. Although the 0 to 60 mile per hour times have not been released, Audi has set a maximum speed limit of 124 mile per hour for these vehicles. Performance appears to be impacted by the possible weight increase, making it slightly slower than the previous model. The rear motor now contains 14 coils instead of 12 to form its electromagnetic field, which allows it to generate more torque with the same amount of electricity, contributing to an increase in efficiency. The front motor remains the same. The maximum towing weight of the Q8 e-tron is still 4,000 pounds. The Q8 e-tron ought to be even more enjoyable to drive than before. It features a retuned conventional air spring suspension for improved responsiveness, revised progressive steering, stiffer front axle suspension bearings and other modified chassis control systems have been put into place. Similar to the majority of Audi automobiles, the Q8 Sportback e-tron prioritises smoothness. The steering wheel was modified to provide more sensation than before and the adaptive air suspension is plush without feeling sloppy. Compared to the majority of gas-powered Audi cars, including the standard Q8, it seems more connected. The cabin is quiet on the highway with hardly any wind or traffic noise to disturb you. Similar to Porsche, Audi did not equip its EV with a full one-pedal driving mode. There are three different regen modes, but none of them can stop the car rapidly and hold it there. Audi loves to let the car coast to a stop, and when you take your foot off the accelerator, this car rolls farther than any other car. The European WLTP cycle estimates an electric range of 362 miles on a fully charged battery, although Audi reports an EPA range of 285 miles. While it falls short of the 324 mile IX and the 312 mile Lyric, this surpasses the 246 mile range of the outdated Jaguar I-Pace. However, the Audi Q8 Sportback e-tron with Ultra Package will achieve a 300 mile range that is more competitive. The Q855 e-tron with its 114 kilowatt hour battery, of which 106 kilowatt hours is usable capacity, will be the only model available in the US. The Q850 e-tron is available in Europe with a smaller battery. Compared to the 2023 e-tron's 95 kilowatt hour battery, this is 19 kilowatt hours more. The new battery is more energy dense and has better charging performance, all while fitting into the same space as the old one. With a level three DC fast charger, the maximum charging speed has been raised from 150 kilowatts to 170 kilowatts, allowing the battery to be charged from 10 to 80% in just 31 minutes. It's more competitive, but still not class leading. The Q8 recharges at 9.6 kilowatts on an AC charger, meaning a full battery will be achieved in 13 hours. Additionally, a $1,850 AC charging package is available that includes an additional 19.2 kilowatt outlet. That would fully charge the battery in 6.5 hours, but this is only for the higher trims. Although Audi has stated that the Q8 e-tron will include a plug and charge as standard, it is unclear if this refers to the system that GM hosts in the US. If so, the Audi would have access to GM's Altium Charge 360 network. However, we do know that it can be charged at any VW Electrify America station and presumably soon at any Tesla supercharger station as well. The e-tron was always a beautiful luxury vehicle but in the current market, its short range made it difficult to sell. With a more competitive range and faster charging times, the 2024 Q8 e-tron makes up for its slightly higher price. The base price of the Q8 e-tron is $74,400 and the Sportback variants raise it to $77,800, not including the $1,195 destination fee. With such a price tag, this Sportback ranks high up with vehicles such as the BMW iX and Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV. Even though the iX has more miles and more power as standard, the Audi outperforms the BMW by roughly $10,000 and the BMW is not as stylish as the Q8 Sportback. 
Although the Mercedes costs around the same, it is less powerful and has a shorter range. With Audi's upgrades, the Q8 e-tron has gone from being overlooked to fiercely competitive. Electric vehicles will only improve with every new generation, as demonstrated by the Q8 Sportback e-tron. That's all from this video. What do you think of this luxury SUV? Is it something you would consider buying? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.